Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. This is episode 7 of the Discord.js guide and in this episode, I'm going to be teaching you how you can create a simple math command. So let's jump straight into it. I hope you'll enjoy. So now let me create the if statement, if command is equal to math and now let's execute this. So it's going to be bot.commands.get math and execute message comma args inside the brackets. So this time I'm not going to be using Discord because Using an embed, I think it'll look way too complicated and we're just going to be inputting the, I mean, outputting the result. So I don't think we really need this this time. So basically how this will work is that I'm going to be having three arguments. The first one will be the, it will be the operation. So add, subtract, etc. And the next two arguments will be the two operations, the two operands on which the operation is performed. So let me type this in performs simple math functions add another comma and execute this execute message comma args there we go so i'm going to be defining the three arguments right now so let op equal to arg zero which is the operation of the first arg and number one and number two So a problem here is that all the arguments will be in string form. So we have to convert them into integer first. So all you have to do is parse, let's call this parse number one, which will equal to parse int number one. And let's do the same for the other integer as well. Let's parse number two, which will equal to parse int number two. And now I'm also going to be defining constant called ans which will be the result but I'm not going to be defining it right here so yeah and now let's start off with an if statement if op isn't there so the first if the first argument isn't there we are going to be typing message.reply and let me type this in for formatting so once again the backward slash and type in exclamation mark math add one two for an example and yeah there we go that's the if statement if the operation isn't there and if it is there we're going to go else and type in if operation is equal to add i will be opening in curly brackets and let's copy paste this everywhere else for all the other commands i mean all the other operations so we have add subtract multiply divide modulus power and root let me change this let me call this sub let's call this mult let's call this divide let's call this mod and let's call this pow and root all right there we go so now i'm going to be opening this and adding another if statement it looks slightly complicated but it's not really that much so if exclamation mark args one or exclamation mark args two so basically what this does is if either the number one or number two aren't there we're going to be printing this type this in once again and let's copy paste this once again okay and there we go so you can change it based on the operation if you want here but that doesn't really matter and let's open up an else statement and type in ans is equal to parse number one plus parse number two so that is what ans is, ans is going to be if it's add and after that let's type in message dot send your answer is plus ans and i'm going to be copy pasting this once again guys so yeah let's do this Okay, I just realized something, I messed up the brackets, I need to fix this right now. Okay, luckily it is only here, but yeah, luckily it is only there. And let's paste this in. And these brackets look quite messed up. 
but it does work fine and yeah there we go so i'm going to be changing them based on the operation so here it is add so plus and here it will it will be subtract here it's going to be asterisk here it will be backslash for divide for mod it is going to be percentage so mod basically what mod does if you didn't know is it divides both of these values and finds the remainder and for power we have to actually use a function because there is no symbol which calculates the power so you just do math.pow open in brackets and type in parse int 1 comma parse int 2 and what this does it it raises parse int 1 to the power of parse int 2 and yeah that's the same thing here i have to copy this right here so math.pow parse int 1 and we're going to be doing 1 divided by parse int 2 so this is because parse int 1 to the power 1 divided by parse int 2 is basically parse int 1 to the root parse int 2 and yeah that's basically it for the command i think i'm going to be testing it out now so let's read on the program and did it okay there we go so let me type in math of course it doesn't work math add and that also doesn't work so let's type in math add 1 2 and your answer is 3 so that works let me also try some more math sub 3 and 2 oh there's a slight space there so that caused an error 3 2 and your answer is 1 so that works let me try pow 2 to the power 3 um, that didn't work oh it's pass number 1 I just made a mistake here let me fix that and here as well And let's type in now let's try it out math power 2 3 and there we go the answer is 8 let's also try math mod 7 2 and the answer is 1 so i think the command works quite fine here guys and i think i'm also going to be wrapping up the video right here so thanks for this video guys please leave a like if you enjoyed and make sure to sub that's me signing out see you on the next one peace